So I wanted to do just a quick video talking about um, the next the next generation of plants that I'll be growing in my little indoor hydroponic cabinet, grow cabinet with this 6.6 uh, .6 gallon bucket DWC setup. So I'm having a little fun. I'm, I, I removed the other plants if you saw my past videos, starting something new. At the top here, I have two sugar bush baby watermelons because I'm fascinated to see if I can grow some watermelons in DWC indoors. And I have a couple peppers going. This is a not a peño. It's uh, actually a heatless jalapeno. And that is a sweet bonnet. It's actually a well, not a heat less, but a low heat scotch bonnet. And starting elsewhere, I have more peppers, including Zulu pepper, habanada, and uh, Jimmy Nardello, which I will be starting in more containers. Most of these, as you can see, I have a ton of them, a ton of these containers. Eventually, I want these all to have plants growing in here. I don't know if I'll have it fully going until winter time when I'll be spending more time indoors growing, but I have a hidden harvest light for every single station, every single one, plus some. So it's uh, it's definitely gonna be interesting when this all gets going, but I just wanted to introduce kind of where we're at for those people who are interested and have been uh, watching. I like to give, you know, of course, regular updates to everything going on. So uh, yeah, I actually don't have much more to say. Uh, I will definitely be keeping you up to date as this, this whole thing develops. As always, the plants are doing amazing. This time around, I'm not using the Fox Farm uh, Grow Big hydroponic solution. I'm actually using, you know, a more fam familiar variety to a lot of people, which is the Master Blend. So, and the reason why I'm switching to Master Blend is because I can get it powdered, so I'm not paying for water and it's less plastic packaging. Because I can just buy a big bag of of the the minerals and, and just mix them myself into solution. So it's just way more cost efficient. It's way more environmentally friendly. You know, at least as far as packaging is concerned. Um, so anyway. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll be talking more in the future. If you, uh, if you like this series and you want to see more videos of the indoor hydroponic grow, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. And if you're new here, please be sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss updates about this, especially the hydroponic watermelon. That is going to be amazing, and I'm so excited about it. So definitely stick around for that. So in any case, as always, thank you so much for watching, and thank you for joining me on this journey.